Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anirudh and today in this canvas tutorial, I will show you how to create clock animation. So guys, first of all here inside this body tag, I will just take on canvas tag. So canvas and I will take on ID for reference this canvas. So ID name, I will write my canvas, but by the way, this ID name, you can write anything. And now here I will set the width and height of this canvas. So width is 400 and height I will write 400 as well and after that here I will just add one border so here I'm writing inline CSS but if you want to write internal or external CSS you can do that so based on this ID you can write internal or uh, external CSS so now here style background color okay so background color I will add this color code and here I will write one border as well border uh, I will write one, uh, two pixel and solid and the color I will write triple zero means this is black color and now I will add close of the canvas tag so here you can see this is canvas so canvas is created now I will come to the browser and I will show you how it is looking like so here you can see it is looking like this so now I will start to write the code for creating a clock. So now here inside this body tag, okay, canvas, it is called HTML5 canvas, but mainly everything we do by JavaScript. Okay. So here I will write one script tag. By the way, if you want to use external JavaScript file, so you can do that. Here I will write in the same file. So I have to write script tag and inside the script tag, I will write my canvas code. So here const, const is the keyword for uh, defining a variable so the variable name i will write canvas by the way same thing i will say again variable name you can write anything as per your choice now equal to document dot get element by id the id is this one okay whatever id you will write here you have to take it here for the reference purpose if i take the id he, uh, here that means what it is the meaning like document document means entire page is called document so from this document get element by id those uh, tag called elements so from this element i'm taking id okay get element by id so i'm getting id from this element this is the meaning of that so well i will get the id so that time i will get entire canvas okay so id is the reference of canvas so now after that here one common thing uh, I have to write that is I have to define this is 2D 2D animation canvas is always 2D so always you have to define it is 2D so const const after that one variable name that is called ctx and after that here you have to write uh, this canvas canvas means this variable which I already defined here then get context like this okay 2D so this is done now here i will take one another variable that is let radius and inside this variable just i will define one radius because when we create circle clock i will create as a circle so when we uh, create circle so that time we need radius if you haven't watched my uh, previous tutorial like how to create a rectangle line circle so i will suggest first watch those video then you can easily understand okay so radius here you can uh, directly add the radius value in the circle or else you can define inside a variable so i will define inside a variable because this radius variable i will use many places so i will define here okay as a variable so now here i will write canvas dot hide canvas dot height means uh, actually here if you notice i have defined height height is 400 so if i write canvas canvas means this one here i define this id so canvas dot height means i will get 400 okay so 400 uh, divide 2 okay so means i will get 200 okay so now after that here i will write ctx dot translate okay now this translate property it takes two value so two value means first value will define top 
and the second one will define left property okay so uh, now here if i write 10 pixel uh, no need to write pixel if you write 10 and here if you write 20 so this circle will start from 10 pixel top and 20 pixel left okay this is the translate properties used so now here instead of 10 and 20 what i will do just i will add this radius value okay so now here this okay means canvas uh, divide height so height is 400 and divide 2 means 200 so here i am writing 200 200 okay so you can write like this or even uh, anything you can write okay 200 200 or else you can write this radius variable okay so anything you can choose whatever you want now after that this radius value uh, now it is 200 so now what i'll do this radius value i'll little bit of decrease i'll so here radius equals to this radius radius means 200 already so 200 uh, i'll multiply by 0 0.90 okay so this value i already calculated so i have written here you can change this value here so you can do that okay now here if you change the value here so at, uh, the uh, when i will start to write then uh, another line of code so that time they are also you have to manage okay so i will suggest don't change this value because this value i already calculated so now here after that i will create the face face of this clock okay means first i will create the circle part so what i will do just i will create one function okay so function name draw face uh, i'm trying to write the relevant name but if you want to write any other name instead of draw face you can do that okay now here here what i'll do so first of all i will create one gradient color okay if you uh, don't know how to create gradient color in uh, canvas so i'll suggest to watch my previous video again okay so now ctx now uh, everything i will do uh, by this variable ctx okay so here also you can see i didn't use this canvas variable i have used this ctx variable because at the end i define this ctx is the 2d animation so now whatever shape i will do i have to use this variable okay that thing always you have to remember okay those are the common and default thing those thing you have to remember okay these two things two thing is the very common thing every shape or uh, every canvas time you have to write those two line okay two line means here variable name you can change and this id number you can change as well but here like this dog you have to take the reference and after that you have to define this is 2d animation these two thing is the common now ctx okay ctx dot here first of all the i'm going to create circle okay so the gradient color i will create the circle okay so here i will write create radial gradient okay spelling you can check uh, you can pause this video and you can check the spelling okay don't miss the spelling here so now here same top and uh, left after that width of this circle here gradient color i'm creating as a circle so here you have to write width of the circle and width means here i'll use the radius okay radius here we don't call it width, width actually we call it radius so radius uh, i'll use multiply by 0 0.95 okay comma 0 here i have to add comma so 0 comma 0 and after that here comma radius uh, multi multiply by 1.05 okay the, this thing actually again i'll say this thing i have calculated already so here same thing you can add even if you change here so accordingly you have to change other code as well okay so now here i have created one variable so now i'll take this variable and here i will start gradient color so here this is the property that also default property you have to remember this one 
at color stop okay s and c is the capital and here color will start from zero means from begin and after that the color whatever you want to add so i want to add this color code at first and here that one i have to write inside inverted comma because this is the string value okay so now again i will copy this one and i will paste here two times okay so now it will start from zero and it will go after middle 0 0.5 so when it will be middle so that time color i will write here white color and after that when it will be at the end means one so that time again i will keep it the same color code okay now this is the gradient color now i will create the circle so here first property is ctx dot begin path like this okay this is the default thing you have to write when you want to create circle you have to write this one begin path means from where the circle will start begin path okay now after that ctx dot arc okay so when we create rectangle so that time we write rect here when we create circle so that time we write r a r c now here it takes some property values okay x y radius number start angle number end angle number you can check check those things okay so x means i will just uh, say the uh, important properties values even i already discussed like how to create circle so x means it is uh, from left y means it will uh, from uh, top okay uh, and those value will be number means you have to define here number value means if you write 10 so 10 means uh, the circle will start from 10 pixel of left and y 20 means suppose if you write 20 so that means circle will start from top 20 pixel the radius radius means actually it will define like circle width if you write like 9 so the circle will be small and if you write 10 so circle will be bigger okay like this uh, radius value denotes okay so it will also a number start angle end angle means from where it will start the angle okay means if you start angle also number so start angle means suppose if you write 9 so circle will start and it will end half of half okay it will not be full circle okay so it will be half circle like end end is also number like if you uh, write the end number uh, something else so like uh, 0 0.1 like something anything you could write so circle will not be end at his position suppose uh, this is uh, this is circle okay uh, i have to open paint for this explanation then you can understand easily so i will open paint here and i will just try to explain what is the meaning of that so paint is open i will take the pencil okay so circle uh, start position okay start angle so he, from here if you want to start suppose your canvas is like this okay first i will create one canvas so this is canvas okay so here if you write start 10 okay means from top it will start here okay 10 if you write and end end if you write 10 means suppose circle will be like this okay here it is not the exact circle but i'm trying to explain how it works so it, it will be like this okay it will not be full here okay so if you write 0 or 10 means starting is 10 even if you write end point also 10 so that time circle will end here like this way okay so this way it works so i hope guys it is clear if you still have any doubt you can write in the comment section even you can uh, connect me in instagram provided in description instagram id i will try to explain so left and uh, top with i'll uh, write here uh, top position so zero zero and the radius radius means uh, the circle so top and left zero after that i'll write here radius radius means the size of the circle and here comma zero okay starting point okay and after that here i will write two into math dot pi okay like this 
ओके सो नाउ आई विल कॉल दिस फंक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हेयर यू नो गाइस हाउ टू कॉल दिस फंक्शन जस्ट सेम यू हैव टू राइट दिस फंक्शन नेम हेयर लाइक दिस एंड आई विल चेक इट ओन्स हाउ इट इज लुकिंग सो इट इज नॉट क्रिएटेड ओके बिकॉज सर्कल कलर आई हैव इन एडेड सो नाउ हेयर आई विल जस्ट एड हेयर सी टी एक्स डॉट फिल स्टाइल ओके फिल स्टाइल इज वाइट कलर ओके एंड नाउ हेयर लिट एंड हेयर आई हैव टू राइट द अनदर प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज फिल okay first is fill style means the color and then i will write the fill means this color will be filled by this circle okay i mean uh, this circle will be filled by this color okay like this okay now here i will check so you can see here circle is created now i created one gradient color so gradient color i will add the border of the circle okay so now for that here i have to write stroke style okay so ctx dot stroke style so same like this is stroke style this gradient variable which i have created this gradient color so this variable and now here same uh, here i have to say like this uh, color will be stroke okay means this circle will be stroke by this gradient color so ctx dot stroke here i have to define this function so now here it is created but uh, not showing i have to check what is the issue why it is not showing okay here uh, i have to define the stroke width okay so here i write ctx dot line width line width is radius multiply 0.1 let's see see here gradient color is now created okay that time it was created but not displaying properly because the width i have not defined okay so that's why so now circle is created okay so this one done now i will create another circle and that circle will be middle of this circle okay means here so for that one same thing begin path when we create circle same thing we write begin path and this also arc so i will write here arc so here if i comment it will be easy to understand so here first creating gradient so this gradient color i have already created so you can use anywhere okay and here i like creating or drawing a circle main circle i like okay it will be easy to understand and now this one i'm creating i mean drawing circle in middle or center you can easily understand okay center so now this this one here yeah, zero zero and the radius radius means i already set the size if i write the same radius what it will happen so let's see first i will set the color okay fill style so what i will do just these two property also i will copy because for adding the circle color we need to uh, we need to uh, write this fill style okay so color i will change like this this color okay now see what it will happen see it is entirely coming okay this black why because the same radius radius is the size same radius i have added but this main circle will be big okay then this one okay i mean it will be bigger than this circle so here i have to decrease the radius means decrease this circle this circle size so here multiply 0.1 so here you can see this circle is created in the middle of this main circle okay or you can say it center of this main circle now i will create the number because without number clock is not a valid when we see the time so time see by number like 1 pm or 1 am 12 am like like this way okay so here i have to draw some number so here here i will take another function so function here i will write draw number okay like this guys if you have any, any doubt still up to that you can write in the comment section okay i will try to solve it out so ctx dot font first i will define the font size of this number okay 
so here font size i will write radius radius then multiply 0.15 okay plus pixel and the font family okay like this this way you have to write and this value i calculated by this radius but if you want to write just a static value you can write like this okay anything you can choose this is not a mandatory okay so now here i will write another two property ctx dot base line okay so base line is the middle like this okay so means this font will start middle and it will align center also so ctx dot text align okay here center like this this is the very basic thing okay now the main thing i will start for drawing a number so here uh, clock means it is 1 to 12 12 number right so here uh, i will not draw one number and i will not set the position like this okay means here uh, you can you can do like this first draw one number then set the position like if i go to the viewport so here uh, again i will open the paint and i will explain okay so again it will be clear for you suppose i have one clock okay like this okay now here you have to draw some number okay means first here it is 12 like this it is one like this okay then after that two like this way i have to draw the number okay so you can do like two ways like one is draw one number first means this num 12 number first you can draw and you can set the position on top after that you can draw this number one and you can set after 12 this position okay anything you can choose but here if i if i choose this way so i have to write more code so what i will do i will just write one for loop okay so here i will write for let i equals to one okay or num num is better so num equals to one and num will be less than 13 Th less than 13 means 12 right 13 less is 12 and num will be plus plus like this way i will write one for loop okay and now here i will set the position of each number so angle okay this variable name you can write anything num and into or multiply you can say it math dot pi divide 6 okay because uh, here uh, that is 12 number okay 1 to 12 so 12 number that's why i divided by 6 means half of this 12 okay so like this way you have to write this calculation okay if you want to see what is the value of this calculation so you can console this one okay you can console dot log log this angle and i will call this function before that because if i don't call this function so i won't get any console so here i have open console okay now c c value is coming like this way okay so this is the actually position of all those number so first number is one so one is the position zero okay like this two then two number is two two is the position is this one okay so this is the position i am getting okay so now here here just i will write ctx dot rotate and here i will write this one okay and after that ctx dot translate translate means uh, left and top property i have already said so this left is zero and this top is radius into 0 0.85 okay those calculation i have already created so don't change this calculation value if you change this calculation value anywhere you have to change 
enter code accordingly okay enter code means those calculation like uh, here uh, you, you may change this this thing like this thing okay those calculation you have to change accordingly if you change any place of this calculation so now this is done and now here what i'll do just here i will write ctx dot rotate this one okay and after that ctx dot fill text that those up to that it is just for the position of the number now i will draw the number so fill text and the fill text is num num means if i uh, if i console this num so i will get the number 1 to 12 so this num dot to string okay and here first uh, you have to write the text whatever you want to draw okay if you write here instead of this if you write here hello so it will draw the text is hello okay but i have, i have to draw the number so that's why i wrote one for loop okay so this one and now the position position means from where it will start again you have to define the position here also okay the, here i have created the position even here when we, you create uh, this uh, text or circle or anything so uh, in those property you have to define the position also okay so like this and now what i'll do just here i'll copy the same thing means after after this one again i will change the position like this okay like this one. so here this will be the same and after that translate 0 and it will be radius and this one and here it is like that okay so like this so now let's see what it will happen so see here i am getting this one okay and guys here i did one thing wrong actually here i wrote like baseline okay it will be text baseline okay like this b is the capital and here like this okay so now it will come perfectly okay so like this way number is has drawn now after that here if you notice i'm calling two function like this way. but guys here i can do one thing i can create another function the function name i will write main by the way you can write any name and here i will call those two function here okay and i will call this main function that will be better right like this so it will be same if you notice so now this one is done now i have to draw the uh, this hand if you simply call it is hand okay like uh, hours hand minute and second okay seconds hand. so here how can i do that just one thing i want to remind you like when i console this angle so i got some position like one point something two point something okay so when i will create the hand same position i have to generate okay like here i will write first of all here and one function the function name is draw time okay first see what i'm doing here then i'll explain so now here i will take one variable const and the variable name is now equals to new date okay so if i write like this way so i will get current date current date means today's date now here from today's days i date i want to get the hour minute and second because in our clock there is three hand i already said like hour and minute and second so now here hour hour for getting today's hour so here i have to write now dot get hours like this those are the default javascript method okay now same for minute equals to now dot get minutes now here second same now dot get seconds like this so now i will 
just console dot log and hour so let's see what i will get in the console but before that i have to call this function okay so here i will call inside this main function because after that i call the main function okay so now here i have to open console and i will see like what i will get see 13 so see here the time in bottom right corner of my laptop you can see the time is 13 hour is 13 now if i console minute 17 see in the time is 17 so two days uh, hour and minute i'm getting by this method okay so when i'm get, while i'm getting this hours and this minute okay so if if based on this hour and minute and second if i create my hand position so it will be it will be in the same position right means 17 means 17 means this is 3 okay 3 means 15 okay and for here like this position this position just notice my mouse cursor this position will be my uh, minute cursor okay in this position so here i have when i will draw this hand so i have to take those position for my hand i mean those number for my hands position okay clock hands position you know? so now here this one is very clear so now here i will do one thing just here i will write hour okay for first of all hour so here i will write hour equals to hour percentage 12 okay now after that again hour equals to hour into math dot pi divide 6 same calculation i'm trying to write here okay same calculation now here what i have to do here i have to create the hour position hour means it is 60 minute is the uh, one hour okay so here i have to write like this i will just enter and minute okay minute means this variable minute into math uh, math dot pi divide 6 into 60 plus second so here i'll here i'll copy this this one and here i'll paste but instead of minute here i will write second okay second into math dot pi and here 360 okay 360 into 60 like this this way i'll calculate hour so now if i console dot log this hour let's see what i'll get see this is the position i'm getting okay so in this position i have to draw my the hand of hour okay i mean this clocks hour and i have to draw okay so this way hour is done so now here i will create another function so this function name i will write here draw hand okay so first of all in this function i will take three parameter position position length and width okay so why i am taking three position you can understand the later okay first of all i will just create for creating hand i have to draw rectangle okay so cth dot begin path for creating rectangle we need to write this one and after that ctx dot line width equals to width width means this params value okay line width. okay now here after that ctx dot line cap okay means the edge of this la rectangle i want to make round okay means h of this rectangle okay now here now i will draw the line the main part okay 
first move to from where our line will start so our line will start from position 0 okay and here ctx dot rotate rotate is 0 comma minus length okay length means this variable uh, this uh, params okay params value i'll define the later you can understand after that but now this params value okay so here i have to write minus length okay and after that i have to draw, uh, add the color okay ctx dot stroke okay so if i write stroke so by default it will be black color okay if you add if you want to add any other color color so you have to write ctx dot stroke style first means here first of all you have to write ctx dot stroke style and here you have to define one color okay whatever color you want to add and after that ctx dot stroke okay but i want to add the default color that is black so i will keep it like this and ctx dot rotate again and here minus position okay here one thing i did wrong okay rotate will be sorry position and here line two means from uh, i mean from where to where our line will be okay means move to means from where our line will start and line two means where our line will end okay so i did one thing wrong okay so now here line two and line 2 will i mean this one will be end in uh, in left it will be end in zero position and in top it will be this one okay this one now it is fine now this draw hand function i'll copy and i will paste inside this draw time okay first i will create this hour okay so like this i called this function here so now position position means here it will be hour first of all length means the size of this hand okay so our hand will be smaller than others okay and minute and a minute will be smaller than second okay means hour will be uh, smaller than minute and second okay so here i will write radius and multiply 0 0.5 okay and width width will be here radius multiply 0 0.07 okay like this so now i'll check it once it is created or not so see it is created even it in this perfect position right because to now the time is 1 pm 1 pm and 26 minute so here in this same position it is created okay so now i will create for minute okay so now here i will write minute equals to equals to then parenthesis minute same same thing whatever i did for the number so same thing i'll try to do it for minute means math dot pi okay like this so minute multiply math dot pi divide 30 okay plus the second for hour we wrote minute second both hour minute second you can see here hour minute and second but for minute i will write only for minute and second okay so i will copy this one and here i will write second math.pi 30 multiply 60 okay and now this draw hand function i will add here okay so now position will be this minute okay and after that length length means the size size of this hand okay so here i will write 9 and this radius is fine it is 0 0.7 so now i will do save and i will check see here it is coming okay 
so now after that i will draw for second so just the entire thing i will copy and paste and this one for minute so i will write one comment that is minute and this one second okay so instead of minute here it will be second variable this one okay this second and for this second here i have to write only this one second into math dot pi divide 30 okay and here position will be second and radius i mean uh, this size will be this one and here it will be this see this position it is coming okay so when i am refreshing when this sec uh, by this second variable by this property of the javascript i am getting second okay when i am refreshing i am getting the current second current minute current hour okay so uh, simply when i will refresh after one second i will uh, second will increase after one minute if i refresh so uh, now suppose minute is uh, this one if you notice here 30 minute okay so when it will be 31 here so after that if i refresh so by this one i will get the current minute means i will get 31 here also same way second i will get okay so means second and minute i'm getting the current one okay and this second and minute and hour i set the position here so means when i will refresh the page so when i'll refresh here so the current second current minute and current hour i will get and those current thing i set as a position of our hand means by default this hand will move okay let's see when i will now the position of this hand you can see here now if i refresh see the second position here okay again if i after one second refresh you can see position here so this way it will move okay now here i'm refreshing manually but i will not refresh it manually right here one thing i will do like it will automatically refresh okay so no need to refresh manually so set interval is the function so set interval function if i write here so that time it will automatically refresh so here what i'll do set interval this function and here i will call this function inside set interval okay not outside then comma and after how many seconds i want to refresh one second right because here after one second second uh, hand of this second means this seconds hand will move after one second so this set interval function will call after one second okay so thousand thousand millisecond means it is millisecond okay thousand millisecond means one second so now you can see it will move automatically okay and once it will move this minute and when it will complete one second so you can notice this minute hand will move here okay so like this way so hope guys it is clear and you have enjoyed this video if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and share this video and also subscribe my channel to get more updates